Hey, it's Matt, and today we're going to talk about paradiddle diddles. This is kind of like a cousin to the double paradiddle in that, just like the double paradiddle, it's a set of six notes. But instead of alternating the accents every six notes from the right hand to the left hand, every single accent on this rudiment is going to start on the right hand. Just as a refresher, a rudiment is a, a small piece of notes. It's a fundamental, just like if you're uh, an NFL quarterback, you're going to work on your throwing motion, make sure your shoulder's in the right place, and boom, so that every time you throw the football, you're not thinking about what exactly am I doing. It just becomes automatic because you've broken down a, a larger piece into smaller pieces and just re rehearsed it, practiced it over and over again. So that's what these rudiments are for. They're, they're tools to put in your toolbox. So the great thing about the paradiddle diddle, it's so versatile on the drum set. It's used a lot in marching band and concert band. So in the drum set, you can use it for fills, you can use it for grooves, and you can use it on the hi-hat, the ride cymbal, the snare drum, the toms. You can incorporate it just everywhere, which makes it really handy. Just like the double paradiddle, this also has a really good automatic shuffle groove. So a shuffle would be something like this. So the paradiddle diddle gives you an instant shuffle. Someone like me, someone who's a little more robotic and methodical in their playing, a little, I, I'm stiff, I just, I'll admit it, which is why a rudiment like this comes so much in handy because it's, it's a built-in shuffle. If you can play this rudiment, then you can play a, a pretty passable shuffle. And we'll get into that in just a second. If you haven't guessed, the paradiddle diddle involves two double stroke rolls. So just like all of our other diddle rudiments, when you say the word, you'll know what's sticking to do. So the word diddle, that's a double stroke roll. The word para, alternate sticking. So para diddle diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, left. Again, these diddle rudiments give you a lot of time to wind up that accent because unlike a single stroke roll, you only have one note on your whatever hand you're accenting to get to that next accent. The diddle gives you two notes to really wind up and hit that accent. So for instance, paradiddle diddle, let's just play it on the snare drum. And this isn't to show off, but this is just to show you how this particular rudiment you can go really fast and it sounds like a, a press roll a buzz roll or a, a stroked out roll however you want it to sound and when you isolate the hands you're going so if you can go you can play a paradiddle diddle and you could probably go and you're going to start to get really fast with this rudiment. So let's go. Paradiddle diddle. So if that was a single stroke roll, you'd have to be stroking out every single one of those rolls with your with your arms, wrists, fingers, however you, you choose to do it. With the paradiddle diddle, again, if you isolate the hands, it's built so you can easily go very quickly. And let's let's incorporate that rudiment around the drum set. Let's start with a groove. So I'm gonna do paradiddle diddles strictly. And we're going to go ride cymbal on beat, accent on beat one, and we'll, we'll switch that over to the snare every other accent. So we have a one, two, three, four. Just like the double paradiddles, we'll show you how that completely changes the feel of a song. So let's do that same 12-8 groove we did with the double paradiddles. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then every other measure, we'll throw in the double paradiddle like so.
You can hear how that instantly goes from a straight three feel to a, a shuffle, really funky, groovy. Let's do it a little bit faster so it kind of translates a little bit better. For someone like me who's robotic and stiff, perfect. A rudiment like that automatically opens up a shuffle. Let's put it on the toms a little bit. So we'll go beat one here on the ride cymbal. The next two notes we'll just hit on the tom and then we'll do the, here we go, we're gonna go. So the right hand double strokes will play on the floor tom and every other beat We'll play ride, sit, ride, sit. You'll get it. And the left hand's going to stay exclusively on the snare drum. Here we go. Groovy. It's a, it's a swingy tom groove just by playing a rudiment. Look at that. All right. Here's another great trick with a pair of diddle diddle. You play the first beat on whatever tom and you fill in the rest on the snare and you just go right down your toms. Or you know what? Just randomly choose a tom and just go for it. This is great in a fill setting. So here we go. Those are just paradiddle diddles. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Again, if you want to isolate your hands, that's all they're doing. So that's a paradiddle diddle, a group of six notes that you can either use as sextuplets in 4-4 time, you can use it as a group of six notes in 6-8, 12-8 time, you can use it to create an automatic shuffle, you can use it to create nice little drum fills that sound like you're giving a press roll on the snare drum the whole time, like a, a nice one of those funky, jazzy, space-filling snare drum notes that if I tried to do if I wasn't doing a pair of diddle diddle, it would sound uh, very robotic and uh, not how I want it to. So yeah, start slow. Boop, boop, boom, boop, boop, boom, boop, boop, boom. Have fun with it. Take it everywhere around the drum set. Use beat one and the cymbals. It works everywhere. Never count out the paradiddle diddle. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll have more soon.